up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome it is almost the beginning of spring and you know what that means it is time for a Zara haul so this all started because I saw one piece on Zara's website which I've banned myself from going on because somehow every time I go on there this happens I end up with like 20 new things. Spring has not sprung here in Montreal, but that's not stopping me. Soon enough, it will be springtime and I will be prepared because I picked up the cutest things. I can't wait to show you guys. There's a combination of basic and elevated pieces, casual and fancier pieces. So I've got you covered no matter what you need for the springtime. So I did a little bit of shopping online and in store and I lucked out in both places but I'll start with what I picked up online. I'm gonna start with the piece that prompted this whole haul. It was actually this knit vest right here. So vest, as you guys know, have been in for a while. I have a few, honestly, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I feel like sometimes they can make me feel like a magician. I don't know why. This one really called to me and what called to me even more is that there's a matching skirt to it. Anyways, I picked that up in two sizes because I wasn't sure which one would fit me better. I got extra small and small. I'm just gonna return the one that obviously doesn't fit me. Okay, so I just got the skirt in. This is what the little set looks like. I am absolutely in love with it. It is the perfect little set for spring. Um, um, I did get a size medium and I think it worked out because once I wash it a little bit, it will shrink down to the perfect size. I just paired it with some suede beige boots and I think a really oversized blazer on top of this would complete the look. I'm just going to throw the Frankie Shop blazer on top. Ah, oh, this is perfect. This is the perfect spring Look, you can also throw on like a pair of slides or sneakers instead. It's a really good base that you can either dress up to be super fancy or dress down. So this is the extra small. I love how it fits. I automatically like this more than any other vest I've tried on. Pulling a little bit here. So let's see how the small fits. It also looks super cute with this skirt. And this is the small. Honestly, I think I, I like how both fit. We'd be crazy if I kept them both. I feel like the small definitely gives a more casual vibe. These need to be ironed, but um, it gives a more casual vibe, whereas the extra small is obviously a little, a little bit more fitted. I think between the two, though, I definitely like the small. Let me know in the comments if you like the extra small or the small better. Then I picked up this top right here, which I don't even know what kind of material this is, but you can see the details there. It's in a beautiful cream color. This 100% I got it to wear with jeans. A white cream top with denim is my favorite look for the spring and summertime. It's clean, it's crisp. Also, this color goes with basically everything. You can pair it with pastels, you can pair it with darker, it even looks good with black. So I love this and the material really dresses it up a little bit. This is the top with a pair of jeans that are also from Zara. These are the straight leg jeans and then I just paired it with some brown heels. I love how this shirt looks paired with denim. This area is a little bit see-through but I just threw on some nipple stickers and it's totally fine. It's perfect for the spring and summer. Then I got this skirt. Maxi denim skirts are very popular at the moment. And you know what? Maybe I'll come around to them, but I just don't love the look of them on me at the moment. But I saw this maxi denim looking skirt in this beige color, and I thought that it would look so cute paired with other neutral white cream tones. For some reason, this was less intimidating than wearing a full-on denim skirt. So this is the skirt. The small is big on me. It definitely could be a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna exchange it for the extra small. The next top that I got, it's this fuzzy material, and it has tie-up details on the sleeve. So this you can wear, like I said, with jeans or that skirt, or you can wear it with the matching maxi skirt for a full fuzzy look. This also has a slit in it. This is definitely like an intense fuzzy look. 
but you guys know how much I love my shirling, how I, how much I love my fuzzy things. So when I saw this, I immediately knew I had to have it. This is a little knit set. Remember when those knit kind of like skims, cozy looking um, sets were in? I feel like this is that, just really elevated. But oh my gosh, this is so cozy. And even if you just picked up the top, I love that there's these tie details on the sleeves. So it doesn't just look like loungewear. It kind of looks a little bit elevated. I'm so excited about this one. The last thing I ordered online, I think you guys are going to freak out over. They are these shoes. Let me get you a close up because they're perfect. The material is like a knit crochet cream material. I picked up these shoes because when you're wearing lighter cream tones, if you try to throw on a white, stark white sneaker with a warmer white or a cream color, it looks so bizarre. These are the shoes with the skirt. The colors actually work super well together. And this is what I mean by if I paired the skirt with a stark white sneaker, something about it would just look so off. So I love how these look paired together. And this color would also look really good with denim. Moving on to what I picked up in store. Some of the stuff I've already tried on and I know I need to return. The changing rooms were closed for some reason. But the first thing I picked up are these jeans. Zara denim are my favorite denim. Even more than my A Goldie jeans, even more than my really expensive jeans. Not all their denim is good, but when you find good jeans at Zara, they really look and feel like you could have spent hundreds of dollars on them. So these are the straight fit. Like surprise, surprise. I literally always talk about their straight fit, but they're really the best in this lighter wash. I get a size 36 in their denim, which um, is a size four. And I find they do shrink a little bit in the wash. So make sure you take note of that. And this is what the bottom hem looks like. These are the jeans. I already know they're a little bit big around my waist, but I know once I wash them and dry them, they're going to fit perfectly. The color is to die for. It is the perfect denim. It has a little bit of distressing, but not too much. This top is from Revolve, and to match the tones, I paired it with my little brown heels. And I always get asked to show the back, so these are the back of the jeans. The next thing I picked up is this. It's not very springing of me, but it is this black leather trench coat. This is so in style at the moment. So recently I've been really trying to experiment with different textures and materials in my wardrobe. I wear a lot of monochromatic looks. I wear a lot of all black looks and sometimes it can look a little bit dull, a little bit flat. One of the ways that you can add dimension to the outfit, add another point of interest to the outfit, is by layering different materials in the same color. For an all black outfit, for example, if I'm wearing cotton or if I'm wearing knit, by layering a leather coat on top, it just makes the outfit a little bit more interesting. It looks really good over all like leggings. Um, I just posted a reel showing the difference between wearing like a wool coat and a leather coat and the difference it makes in the outfit. The next thing I picked up is this top. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited about this top. So in the fall, I picked up this beautiful top from Zara that had an open back. It tied in a bow. It was just absolutely stunning. In of like which I'm not I wear this too but oftentimes I find it nicer instead of having like a low V I love an open back it's a subtle way to be super sexy that just makes people's heads turn or maybe I'm just delusional and no one else thinks that oh I didn't even show you the shirt so it is a it's a, like a high neck shirt kind of like racer style kind of like racer style and then the back has an open back and ties in a bow so this with a simple pair of jeans a simple pair of black heels you have the cutest outfit this top is definitely my favorite purchase from the entire haul look at the back Look at the back and how pretty it is. Just a full open back. Obviously you can't wear a bra with this, um, so just keep that in mind. But I love that detail. I just have it with some darker denim jeans and heels and I think with a cute little bag, you have the cutest outfit. Next thing I picked up is just a simple black 
tank top. So I picked these up maybe once or twice a year because I wear them constantly and they do show signs of wear. This one's really cool because it's kind of like a knit material instead of just like a cotton t-shirt material. So it's easier to dress up, but you can also dress it down and wear it with like sweatpants. This is a little racer tank top with a little black and white striped skirt. Like I said, because it's knit, you can dress it up. I love the fact that it's knit because I feel like it just takes a very casual basic and elevates it and you can wear it with fancier outfits. And then this is such a cute little slip dress. It has lace details along the top and then it's just super simple and sweet and flowy. And then the last thing in this bag I'm so excited about, which I never thought I would wear these or own these or be excited about these. These are also in like a bone accru color. They're not a stark white. And these are good for when you have an outfit that needs a little bit of a fancier shoe, but you don't want to go and wear an entire heel. They also kind of play into that ballet flat trend, which is super in right now. And I am um, Loving. Moving on to the second bag. Moving on to bag number two. This dress, okay, caught my eye. And what was so amazing about it is the silhouette. So this is a dusty rose, well, dusty rose pink color. But look at the structure in that dress. On the runway for Fashion Week, you saw a lot of structured dresses, structured t-shirt. It was very structured. So this dress kind of gave me that same vibe. It does go like a little bit extreme on the sides, like the poofiness, how far it extends. So I'm definitely going to have it taken in so it doesn't extend like 12 inches off each hip. But the structure, the fit of the dress is phenomenal. I, it's clearly a very dramatic hemline and very, it's clearly a very dramatic silhouette. Um, and I love the color and I love the silhouette, but this is just a little too much for me. So I think if you take it down like to that, it would be the perfect dress. Like look at this side versus that side. So I'm just gonna have it taken in on the side a little bit because look at that. Anyways, I have it paired with these Valentino heels. I feel like this is the cutest little dress. It's not too short. I should check if it comes in other colors because this in black would be stunning. This situation needs to get situated. This next set is a striped little knit set so under here you'd have to wear either like a bralette or a bra if you don't mind um, showing through but it's black and white stripes i'm still not sure if i look like a prison inmate in this okay so you're gonna have to tell me and it has a matching skirt so because it's a knit i feel like that takes away from the prison inmatey but you'll have to let me know i got the skirt in a size medium i feel like this skirt would even look really cute paired with a bikini if you want to wear it to the beach like or to the pool i'm um, just with a bikini top obviously not with the long sleeve shirt unless you want to sweat to death i think if you were to just wear it alone it's definitely giving inmate let's throw on some accessories and see if that helps this is just what it looks like alone i also think if you show some skin in between the shirt and the skirt it might help so i styled it up a little bit i mean i didn't do much i just threw on um, a gold necklace i paired it with a little bag over my shoulder and threw on some slides i feel like this you could also throw on a cool leather jacket if you wanted to but it's a very thin knit material so i feel like you'd be wearing this somewhere warm i can picture like wearing it somewhere warm at nighttime. you are not ready for this next top okay it is a boucle top I want everything in my life to be boucle. My bed is boucle. I'm currently on the market for a boucle couch for the CNC office space. Um, and they have this, and they had so much boucle in the store. What I loved about this is that it made boucle like summertime appropriate. This is the boucle top on its own. Cute alone, but I thought it would be really cute under a blazer just to have this material, like a pop of something different poking through. So I'll show you guys that now. Okay, so this is the outfit with a blazer. This is just a blazer from Frankie's shop. It's the B blazer. And so you can see how just having this little pop of boucle through the blazer adds something unique and interesting to the outfit. And then it kind of takes away from the fact that it's a little bit see-through because it's mostly covered up. You just have it like peeking out. Um, and I tied the color in with these cream 
shoes. The next one I picked up is this button up shirt. So I have so many button up shirts. I tell you guys all the time how amazing they are in the spring and summertime. It's perfect for the springtime when it's still a little bit chilly. And even in the summertime, if it gets a little bit cooler at nighttime where you are, this is the perfect way to kind of warm up an outfit. So this one has green stripes on it. I actually don't have any button ups with green in it. Some green stripes. And I pictured this on top of just like a full cream white outfit. This is exactly how I I wanted to style this so I have some white leather pants on these are from a Goldie I think I'll leave the link down below this white top is from Aritzia and then I just threw this over shirt on top such a simple easy outfit I've been coming around to all white outfits I used to avoid them like the plague because I cannot be trusted with anything white but I feel like because I have an overshirt on top, it's okay. And then also, white leather pants are easier to wear than like white jeans because they don't stain as easily. That's a trick I found. So I'm not as scared to wear like white leather pants compared to white jeans. You'll probably never catch me in white jeans, like I said, because I cannot be trusted. I thought I was buying a white suit that matched perfectly and even right now it looks like it matches but when i tried it on when i got home the pants and the top looked like completely different colors and the pants were a little bit see-through so i will be returning the pants but the blazer is super super cute it's just a white blazer I love that the buttons have tortoise shells. Oftentimes Zara does this thing, God knows why, where they put these incredibly gaudy buttons on everything. They take a stunning blazer and ruin it with the buttons. You have another white blazer, but that one's a little bit thicker. This is a really nice, like lightweight blazer. These are the pants that I got. They're very lightweight as well. They are long on me, so I'd have to get them tailored, but they're just a little bit see-through and they don't really match the blazer perfectly. I don't understand why companies insist on selling white clothes that are see-through. Who's wearing that? Okay, so here are the pants. You can see they're clearly a little bit on the sheer side, so that's something I don't love. I do really like this detail around the waist. It just makes it a little bit different. Um, they obviously go a little bit too long for me. Now, I don't know if I can get past how see-through they are. I really, in I can't, like look at that. But I really love how they fit. This is why, okay, imagine they were all nice and thick like that. <sighs> why, why? These would be perfect if they just made them a little bit thicker. I don't, I don't understand why they do this. When you're just looking at them like not on your body, they look the same because they are the same color, but because the material is different, when you put them on, they don't look even a little bit the same. The blazer is amazing, I love it. But yeah, this is just a no. These pants are definitely going back. It's a no from me, which is really sad because I love this detail. And then the last thing I picked up are these jeans right here. They have these jeans in so, well, they're not really jeans, they're like cargo pants. They have them in so many colors. I picked up this green khaki color. Um, simply because I don't have any pants like this in that color. And what I liked about these, okay, I'm very particular with my cargo pants that I buy. I don't need 500 pockets on the leg. I don't have that much stuff to hold and quite frankly, it just makes my legs look a little bit bulky in a way I don't like. But this one was nice because it had a singular pocket on each side and just looked very streamlined and pretty. The color was really great. And like I said, they had that in so many colors. All right, so here are the cargo pants. I love how they fit and how they're a little bit looser around my leg. They just go really long. I have them on with a pair of heels and they're still like touching the floor. So I'll probably have to get these hemmed, but I think for a really casual, easy outfit, I'll probably be picking them up in other colors. Um, I have a very similar pair in a beige color as well and I love them. And I just paired it with the little knit vest and I think this is just such a cute, easy outfit. And this beautiful green polka dot material. The back is really nice as well. It's like an open tie back. I got this to just throw on with a pair of casual sandals and wear it during the day. I feel like this would be super cute for brunch or you can throw it on with some mules and wear it out at nighttime. I was really drawn to the silhouette of the dress and also for some reason the polka dots. I feel like everything I got from Zara could work with each other. All the tops can work with all the different pants and you have like a million 
million different outfits if you play with them and pair them together so when i was trying on the clothes i tried to style them together so you can see all the different options anyways thank you guys so much for watching as usual i will leave all of the pieces i picked up linked down below don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week i love you and i'll see you guys back here next time bye